Relevance now in the legal battle to secure the former home of Fotostulos and all the contents inside of it. That was the focus of an emergency hearing today at Farmington Probate Court. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live outside the home on Jefferson Crossing in Farmington. Matt? Well, Dennis, no one is living at the Jefferson Crossing home right now. Today we learned in court that the alarm has been reset. Police are on notice and they're heating the home to make sure that the pipes don't freeze this winter. What's next? Cataloging, cataloging all the items inside the house and then determining who will eventually get them. The house is now secured. The locks have been changed. And with civil suits already underway, the attorney representing Jennifer Farber Dulos's mother wants to make sure nothing happens to her former son-in-law's Farmington home. Fotis Dulos, charged with murder in connection to his wife's disappearance, died last month, just a few days after trying to kill himself at his Jefferson Crossing house. Certainly everyone in Connecticut, let alone maybe in the Northeast, knew that that was an empty house. Since Dulos died without a will, today a judge asked a local attorney, Christopher Hug, to continue on as the temporary administrator, keeping tabs on Dulos' estate as the case makes its way through probate court. We've secured it in the house for now. Um, we have... Uh, Obviously, we'll do an inventory of what's there now. The concern is, has anything been moved? That concern arose after a moving truck was spotted at the house last week, prompting police to respond. During the hearing, Farmington's probate judge heard from Michelle Traconis' new defense attorney, who filed an appearance saying his client, who lived at the Farmington home for a number of years, has a number of items she'd like to get back. The same goes for Dulos's five young children. There may very well be an interest in specific items that belong to the children, that were requested during the divorce and refused to be returned to the children. So uh, there may be some uh, uh, request uh, that they would make. Meanwhile, Kevin Smith, part of Dulos's defense team, was at court as well. We also want to make sure that the estate protects potential suits that he may have and other potential claims, uh, malicious prosecution, wrongful death, um, potentially malpractice. Um, so those are things that we want to make sure are not lost in the rush to divvy up uh, all of his property. Now, today we also learned that there was a cat in the house. That cat, we're told, is being uh, kept with a friend. But today, uh, defense attorney Kevin Smith said another friend of Fotis Dulos, one that helped put up his bond. We were told that she's willing to take that cat on a permanent basis. As for all those items in the house, we're told that temporary administrator told the judge that he hopes to have all that inventory cataloged within the next 30 days. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Farmington. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.